Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Aditya Bhatt and uh, due to uh, extremely popular demand and multiple requests to me to make a lecture on you know uh, for the people who are considering pediatrics as a branch for PG so I'll be answering a few frequently asked questions from those aspirants who want to take pediatrics as a branch so uh, I'll take questions one by one so the first question is that uh, question that people have asked me about pediatrics is that how is pediatrics as a branch and is it toxic or uh, you know uh, how it is uh, the resident how is the residency so the answer to that question should be like you know the pediatrics is one of the most difficult residency anywhere in the country like uh, if you take places with a huge patient load or a very good patient load uh, the work there is uh, very 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 much because i'll tell you the reason that uh, there are two icus with every pediatrics uh, department because you also have to handle the neonatal component and the pediatric component so both of the icus are present and there are two specific populations you have to you know deal with and many people you know uh, are asking me that yes uh, pediatrics is a you know medicine branch of small adults so it is not true uh, as many of people many of uh, uh, our dignitaries and uh, senior faculties also have might told you before that pediatrics is not the medicine for uh, small uh, adults it is entirely different and you should not take pediatrics uh, as a replacement to medicine because it is a vastly different branch what happens in uh, medicine is that you have a different plethora of diseases that you know the chronic diseases and the cardiac diseases the blockages and the, the entire plethora is different and over here the entire plethora is different so you know you cannot compare both of them uh, if you say that yes I wanted to take medicine and I am taking pediatrics you know uh, mostly as far as I know and uh, you know the colleges that I have seen pediatrics is more uh, mostly more hectic branch because again there are lesser number of residents in pediatrics compared to medicine and obviously the medicine has higher load but you know where there are uh, facilities of interns like uh, I choose my words very carefully but like we we say that there are interns then you know a lot of work can be shared by them but again in pediatrics it is you 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 uh, no one else so you have to be very careful uh, pediatrics you know you have to learn everything from the start in uh, uh, many people have you know not attended the pediatric posting in UG the branch was a minor branch in NEET also not many questions are asked and in internship you know the pediatrics uh, we do not go to the pediatrics posting so you know uh, we have we do not have a good idea on how pediatrics actually is so these are the few things that you have to keep in mind uh, that the pediatrics is a very really hectic branch it is an emergency branch and you know uh, there is a lot of work anywhere uh, you take pediatrics there is a lot of work because there are you know never ending patients even during covid the deliveries were going on so the gynecologist friends the obstetrician friends of ours and the neonatology part of our pediatrics was always busy in non-covid uh, despite you know the non-covid uh, part coming to a standstill throughout the entire india these two branches were also involved in non-covid because deliveries won't stop uh, second uh, question that many people ask me uh, that uh, is the uh, is pediatrics toxic at was boss pediatrics toxic at the institute that I studied so uh, you have to understand one thing that you know uh, if you consider work as toxic then obviously it is toxic uh, everything is toxic uh, except I guess uh, you know the people like it depends on you you might feel even dermatology is toxic so uh, it is about the mindset and not about the toxicity you know there has to be uh, there, there there is a lot of work and if you will not complete your work your senior will definitely scold you now i am not promoting you know the the behavior that seniors uh, do with juniors or anything but my 
uh, advice to you is you need to be mentally prepared because there are so many patients and obviously there will be you know uh, mistakes there will be uh, issues and uh, you have to learn to deal with it and you will gradually learn to deal with it initially when you go you will be like where did i where why did i come here like are kya galti kar di why why did i come here i should have taken this i should have taken that so you know you will have the second thoughts when the residency begins and uh, and happens to everyone like it's not uh specific to you and uh, sometimes many residents feel that you know it has been 6 months and i don't know shit like you know i don't know anything i i think i am wasting my time uh, when will i learn all this i think uh, i'll not learn anything so it is not like that everyone takes time uh, some people take more time some people take less time but eventually after 3 years everyone learns if you give enough effort if you do not want to work if you do not give enough effort if you you know you always wiggle your way out of work you do not take responsibilities you do not see the patient and you run away from the responsibilities then obviously you are not going to learn because uh, once you get out of your institute no one is going to teach you anything uh, all you can uh, learn is these three years and after this three years no one is going to teach you anything like it's you are on your own so it is more difficult rather learn as much as you can in these three years your target should not be you know uh, i want to take as many as uh, all my leaves that are present no don't do that uh, work stay in the world work make the priority make uh, you know the work your priority i am not telling you become a workaholic but you know uh, you will learn more you work the more you will learn so if you have learned everything in 2 years after working 24 24 hours then i am not telling you that you know you work for one more year and do 24 hour i am what i am telling you over here is that the more you work the more you will learn so try to you know give your 100% and that will definitely help you in long term and short term and it will make you a better pediatrician than your colleagues another question that people have asked me is that uh, how is pediatrics after you know completing your md or is it is pediatrics an end branch so my uh, answer to this would be that no branch is a end branch now uh, you should, this is concept of end branch is out like there are it depends upon you like uh, if you want to study ahead well and good if you do not want to study well and good uh competitions have increased with all branches and uh, you know uh, it is now getting more difficult uh, for setting up uh, your own private practice anywhere or you know getting a job is pretty much uh, difficult if you do not have uh, if you do not ha- if you have not done it from a good institute or if you have you know done it for the sake of doing it so that is a problem with every branch and uh, you know it is not only pediatrics so get this out of your mind and my advice at this point would be that uh, if you like the branch really well you will be able to take one or two setbacks uh, if you really like your branch you will work extra hours without you know fretting or getting angry so do not go into you know the advices that people give that you know this branch is getting saturated and don't take this no don't take the branch that you love that take the branch that you like take the, uh, do the things that you love to do so that you know it won't be a work for you working extra or working with a lesser amount of money will not be a hassle to you again uh, i am not saying here that we doctors are here to only earn money what i am saying over here is that yes money is a very essential part of life and you have to keep that in mind while uh, you know doing pgs or uh, doing anything we have to keep that in mind so money is decent everywhere uh, you there are many more job opportunities and it is easier to get a job after doing a post graduation compared to mbbs so uh, keep that out of your mind that what will i do after 3 years we do not know what will happen after 3 years and we have absolutely no idea that where the world will go what new pandemic will come or whatever will happen but you should take your branch not on basis of that what will happen after 3 years but what you like and what you really want to do and what you can do for the rest of your life and that is a very very important thing that you have to keep in your mind before taking a branch like pediatrics 
these are the few questions that uh, many people have asked me over you know uh, messages and groups and everything so these are the few questions that i have taken uh, other things that you might be you know there might be difficulties that i am facing uh, after taking branch you know I, i after taking this branch i have second thoughts or you know it is very difficult i cannot do it i want to leave it i want to leave that so being really brutally uh, uh, honest here uh, my question to you would be that uh, what will you do after leaving this like you want to give the neat again and if you give the neat again do you think that really you will make you will be able to make the same effort that you have made to take this pg branch ahead and if you can then by all means do not you know pressurize yourself do not be in the branch and do not torture yourself if you really do not want to be then leave and prepare for the branch again but if you you know if it is just a phase that you know it's just 3 years it will it will pass away you will not realize it if the if the work and if the environment you think is very very toxic i am not promoting toxic culture what am i saying is that it is just 3 years if you like the subject if you like the branch then you know these things can be uh, you can let go the, uh, these things and just it is a, a question of 3 years and it will pass and see depression and uh, everything is not a joke uh, if you really feel that you know this i am not feeling good or the branch is you know taking a toll of me then go go seek counseling there are branches uh, there are psychiatrists everywhere uh, inside all medical colleges take their advice take your parents advice but do not run away from work if you if you you know if you go into residency having an idea that uh, i'll just work for 12 hours a day then rest uh, 12 hours 8 hours i'll sleep and 2 3 hours i'll party and i one hour i'll read every day so that is not how residency works residency basically is working like you know hell and i'm not saying that that should be the case okay, no no uh, you know uh, people should be allowed basic physiological needs to, to fulfill their basic physiological needs but beyond that do not you know do not uh, run from work that uh, i it has been one year and i have not been to any uh, abroad trip i want to go abroad so that is something that you do not do in residency and there are lot of sacrifices that you will have to make you will have to miss your friends wedding best friends wedding also you have to you know uh, uh, miss someone going to the hospital getting sick obviously uh, if a near one of a very dear one is getting then obviously you shouldn't miss it but you know uh, the the you have to prioritize to do things that are more important and to avoid the things that you can skip away so residency is a difficult 3 years of your life and it will be the most memorable 3 years of your life uh when you look back those were my favorite years and i really and sorely miss them and if i would uh, you know get the chance to relive them again i would like to but uh, you know we are getting away from our questions so uh, these are the things that you have to keep in your mind and uh, do not uh, see there are many people asking me that this college is better than that that college is better so my uh, rule of thumb would be that all government colleges are good firstly if you are asking me that which is the best institute or that so i say that all colleges are good all have pros and cons but you have to individually choose um, there are many factors that you have to choose that how far is your home from that or uh, what is the bond status what is the stipend status for those you know who are seeking that no i want this much stipend because there are also so much stipend variability across colleges across states so that so i think that if you select a institute with a good patient load and a good location and a healthy amount of uh, workload then i think that you will not go wrong you will learn and you will grow so uh, it is case to case basis there is no thumb rule that choose this college over that college or this place over that place it is uh, you know person to person basis but you have to keep in mind again that do not run from work uh, please try to you know get hands on as much as possible and it is for your betterment and uh, 
if you know there is real issues that you are having you know bad thoughts you are having you know second thoughts that i want to leave and you really do not like it there please seek professional help do not you know stay where you are and just let it be like it is uh the issues are real and but you have to be mentally prepared before you go in a residency because residency is difficult it is not easy but despite that if you need help there are always people who can help please go seek them uh, do not you know keep your mouth shut do not uh, endure the torture if you cannot do it if it is difficult for you please uh you know seek appropriate help uh help and you know uh take appropriate steps for that and uh that's all i guess uh i hope you like the initiative that i've taken you know to help you guys seek out uh, for uh, for i have answered all your questions as pediatrics as a residency again pediatrics is difficult there are intensive it is uh, it has two intensive care units neonatal and pediatrics so you have to work harder the residency is difficult it is really really difficult so you know you are going to have a roller coaster of a ride ahead for those taking pediatrics best of luck to all of you and i hope this helped you. thank you